Hi, I'm Rob from Gecko Home Cinema. If you're looking to build a home cinema system, I want to tell you why the MK loudspeaker system is the best that you can buy. This is the MK150 loudspeaker. This was the speaker chosen when they recorded Star Wars, King Kong, Pirates of the Caribbean and hundreds of other award-winning blockbuster movies. Using this same speaker in your cinema will more faithfully reproduce what the director intended than any other alternative. The most difficult part of an audio spectrum to reproduce in a room is the low frequency. Far and away the easiest way and the most consistent way to do this is with small speakers that reproduce no bass and separate subwoofers that can be moved around the room to give the best acoustic match to your listening room. When you're designing a home cinema, if it's a dedicated cinema room, you're going to be looking at a projector and screen. The correct way to put the speakers into the room are to use three identical speakers at the front of the room behind a woven screen. This is the only way you'll get a perfect front sound stage across the front of the room. One of the unusual things you'll see when you look at this loudspeaker is it has three tweeters, whereas most loudspeakers have a single tweeter. What this means is this can handle three times the amount of power that a conventional loudspeaker does. When there's a gunfight in a movie, you'll hear the difference. One of the other benefits of using three stack tweeters is it creates a very specific dispersion characteristic in the room. What this means is when you're sat further back in your room, away from the screen and away from the speakers, you have a very narrow height dispersion. So this means you don't get reflected sound off the floor in your room and off the ceiling in the room. This is a real common problem with most conventional loudspeakers. Another benefit of using three stack tweeters is it creates a very wide sound stage. What this means is that unlike conventional speakers with a single tweeter, is you'll hear the same sound wherever you sit across the listening room. Okay, so this is a passive studio monitor. Um, these are used in dedicated uh, cinema rooms uh, where they're put behind a projection screen. Um, these are, this is also the loudspeaker that's actually used in studios, but they make an active version as well if you're looking for something even higher quality. In most living rooms, of course, you don't want a, a speaker that size. This is the on-wall version of that speaker. It uses exact same quality of tweeters and mid-range. It will produce the same quality as a studio monitor, but it's a very shallow loudspeaker. This also comes in white. Um, so this can be put on the wall with three speakers next to each other underneath your plasma TV. So you can create a very discreet installation and proper studio quality sound in the home. Finally, if this speaker is too big for you, you can use this. This is the in-wall version of the same loudspeaker. You can see the same quality of mid-range drive units and the same three stack tweeters. So again, this will play much louder and clearer than a big floor standing loudspeaker and give you a virtually invisible installation. Okay, so that's a little bit about what you're looking for in a front loudspeaker for a home cinema system. Obviously, all these loudspeakers are designed to give a very tight, localised, accurate sound. When you're looking for rear speakers, you want something completely different. Okay, when you're looking for a rear speaker or a surround speaker, it's designed to do a completely different job to a front loudspeaker. Front loudspeakers should localise the sound so you can hear exactly where it's coming from. A rear loudspeaker is designed to do exactly the reverse. What this tripole loudspeaker does is it fires sound directly towards you, but it also fires sound up the side of the room and across the back of the room. What this means is that when you use a 5.1 MK loudspeaker system, you get a truly 360 degree sound field by just using a pair of these rear loudspeakers. One of the things that surprises people about MK loudspeakers is that they're very small. They're all designed to have the smallest possible enclosure. In spite of that, this will play much louder than a big floor standing loudspeaker when you're reproducing gunshot or voices. What you do need a big loudspeaker for, however, is bass. Bass requires moving a lot of air, and that requires a big cabinet. This is MK's top of the range subwoofer, and it's a big, ugly back box. But you can hide it in a room, and you will feel it as much as hear it. You'll get far better sound from this, far better low frequency from this, than from the biggest loudspeakers. MK invented the subwoofer for use in recording studios and home cinemas about 40 years ago now. 
This design is an evolution of their first subwoofer that's nearly 40 years old. What's unique about it is it has a drive unit underneath that fires into the cabinet and a second drive unit that fires out of the cabinet. What this configuration does is eliminate any distortion that's found on one drive unit. It also makes for a much louder, more powerful subwoofer than anything else of a similar size. It's not just me that love MK loudspeakers, there are a few other people you might have heard of. Companies like Universal, 20th Century Fox, Paramount, Sony, DTS, Dolby, Lucasfilm, TriStar, MGM, they all trust MK loudspeakers and use them every day to mix their films with. The THX standards combine a number of technologies that will ensure that you'll get exactly what the director intended in their home if you follow them correctly. All MK loudspeakers are designed around these same basic principles. They all use three identical front sp speakers, they use wide dispersion rear speakers, and they use separate subwoofers to reproduce the bass. The MK150 system is THX approved. If you use this in your home, you'll hear exactly what the director intended. <laughs>